Hello, everyone. Uh, welcome, Hi. welcome to uh, Beer Thrones Presents Beer Protocol. I'm James, and I am drinking a uh, rum and coke. I ran out of beer. I mean, given various conditions, that seems like it'd be a plot, a net positive for you. I mean, yeah, but I did. Uh, so I took a picture. Oh, I'll get to that in a second. Who are you? Okay. Uh, this is Jacob. Today I have from Kona Brewing uh, their longboard lager. Ooh. And we'll give that a taste. That's actually pretty good. I've had it before. Mm. As usual, Kona stuff is on point. Yeah. Like, I can't think of a single bad uh, draft I've had from Kona. Like, um, it's really good. I think I only had two of their beers, so. so. If they tried an IPA, I would be willing to try it, just because their track record for me is this good at this point. And, and, and who are you down there? I'm, I'm, I'm Matt, and I'm drinking Red's Hard Cider. Ooh. Well, it's Joe. okay. Cheers. Kink. Cheers, Thanks. gentlemen. So, uh, yeah, no, last night, uh, we, uh, Ann and I went to, uh, Bonefish? Bonefish Grill, I think it's called? Uh, never been I, I sense regret. No, never been before is actually pretty good. Um, Bonefish is pretty okay. But, they had a smoked Old Fashioned mm -hmm. on the menu. And I sent Matt a picture of it because it came out, like, a whiskey glass with another glass on top of it filled with smoke. And they're just like, yeah, let's sit for like two minutes. So it absorbs into the uh, the whiskey. Fun fact, oh, Matt sweet. has that smoker to do that. Guess what we're going to be doing. So does Jake, actually. <laughs> you have we can independently smoke our beverages. Oh, please. Mine even has a hose. Please do. Mine too. Please do. The first time I used it to try to like smoke some cheese, I filled up my kitchen with so much smoke. <laughs> That my players who were over for D and D became concerned, and we had to open a door and try to like waft the hickory smoke out of the kitchen. You're like, no, it's ambiance for the game. So it's actually really good. Good. <coughs> yeah. So today on Beer Protocol, uh, we are going to do uh, our first time ever discussing this model. <laughs> We've never discussed Bob. it before. Uh, this Bob, sounds like Agent of Hydra. Man. We're going to be talking about one of the new two toys. threat models to the game. Uh, so let's just jump right in. Bob, agent of Hydra, real name Robert Dobelina. I very much want to know what Dobelina is from. But anyway, uh, he is a straightforward model. Three stamina. Not much HP in this sucker at all. It won't Medium matter. movement, size two, two threat. So he is joining the roster of two threat characters, which gives all kinds of interesting list building possibilities. His That's defenses it's... are poor. Two's across the board. Yeah, he's it's he's almost Bob. like this just a dude in like a pullover. It's a sexy may... one single it. It's it's okay, so I do not believe you'll ever use this character, but we're gonna talk about him. So Bob has two attacks. His uh, builder attack, as the community refers to it, mm -hmm. uh, is the Hydra Pistol. Range 3, physical, 4 dice, 0 cost. After the attack is resolved, he gains 1 power. Real quick, cool. define what a builder attack is. A builder attack... Uh, I was just about to get to that. Good timing. A builder attack... So, in general, th these are not official terms, but we've been trying to figure out what are good terms for an attack that builds power and an attack that spends it for a big effect. And the community, thankfully, has beaten us to it and designated these attacks as builders and spenders. So a builder is any attack, usually cost zero, almost always cost zero, that generates power. Either it does it mm -hmm. by generating one power automatically, like Bob's Hydra Pistol or Shuri's energy attacks, or an attack that generates power for every damage it does, like a large number of characters' uh, building attacks. Usually like Strike, uh, Pistol, you know, the base attacks. Yep. Uh, so, or de like Deadpool's bang, 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 bang. Oh, that's yeah. We're gonna get to Deadpool in a, in a, in a, in a okay. weekend or two. So, uh, so his in this attack... case, Bob okay. is a little. Bob is a little unique uh, in that he doesn't have an attack that costs power to use. Technically, uh, his second attack is excessive violence. It is range four physical attack, nine dice of damage, 
I think that puts it up there. I it's... don't think there's a single attack in the game with more than nine <coughs> of base damage right now. Uh, Hulk smack, like one of the Hulk attacks, maybe. I think those are still topping off. Like nothing, nothing hits double digits. Base. Definitely nothing hits double digits on base. So, so yeah, tied up there for hardest hitting base attack damage in the game. Zero cost. So turn one, round one. Bob could just point his rocket launcher at someone and say, "Eat that." Yeah, yeah, and throwing nine dice is uh, still dice. <laughs> throwing nine <laughs> dice could be good. It could be worthless. Unless you're, Josh, I will never forget. And then it's just worthless. <laughs> I will never forget with Black Dwarf building up like a twelve dice attack, and being like, "Yeah, this is gonna do it." I did two damage. Yep. Welcome to dice. He didn't even roll defensively well. All right, but there's a bunch of rules on the excessive violence. Let's see what shooting a rocket launcher does. This character may choose this attack only if it has a loaded token. Good phrasing. After this attack is resolved, this character loses all loaded tokens it has. So, important distinction here. If you cannot uh, shenanigan two of these in a row because you have to get a loading token and you lose all loading tokens. So there's not really any point to having more than one loading token. You either have it or you don't. Right. Um, since this is not an asset token, loading tokens also can't be taken from you by things like Enchantress or certain tactics cards. Correct. Uh, by not having very many rules, it is completely contained within Bob's card, his rectangular object. Before damage is dealt, all other characters within range two of the target suffer two damage. All other characters. Yes, including friendlies. This is the one this is like one of the few attacks that actually causes damage to your friends. It's also worth noting that most AoE attacks we've seen so far in the game only deal one splash damage, whereas Bob deals two. Um, so this is especially if your opponent has someone with like stealth, like Widow or Mike Morales hiding behind some cover, this would be a really good way mm -hmm. to sneak in what's honestly a pretty substantial amount of damage for those lower health characters um, and bypass their defensive abilities. Very good. Finally, before damage is dealt, this character, Bob, is thrown away from the target character, short. This throw resolved by the player controlling the target character, so your opponent gets to choose exactly which direction Bob gets thrown. It's a normal throw, so he could collide your Bob into one of your other pieces that hurt your own threat team a little more. Then, if this character does not have a dazed token, it suffers three damage, which is exactly how much health it has. So I thought of something real quick. Before damage is dealt, before damage is dealt. So his two... Two extra wordings on his paragraph are both before damage is dealt. Can you choose? So can you like basically say he's thrown and then I do the two damage? Well, so the two damage is dealt within two of the target character, not Bob. So those are probably two separate in areas on the board. I mean, yes, since it's your turn, typically you need to choose the order of those effects. Um, okay. But... I was just wondering if I mean potentially there to... could be. Some... Uh, I guess I guess he can't like if he already had a point of damage because I'm I'm wondering if like oh, I guess this is all wait hold on all other characters within two of the target character so is the target character is the all other is the target of the all other characters or is Bob the all other characters? I don't know what you're talking about, so I can't okay. answer. So say you're kind of rambling incoherently. I know. In the distance. Right. You're, and the you're, thing you're is, you're shooting the Hulk. I know. Anything, anything other than the target, other than the Hulk, is going to suffer two damage. So like, Bob oh, if Bob damage himself. If Bob yes. point blank fired the rocket launcher, yes, he would deal two damage to himself. So yes, if Bob is on two health, suffers a two damage, does the attack end? Uh, no. And you know how I know this. <clears throat> How do you know this? Because, because Bob is guaranteed to deal himself three damage before the attack does any damage to the original target because of that second sentence that says he gets thrown backwards. Yes, but it's as a before damage is dealt, you get to choose the order. So uh, you literally could do, I choose the damage is dealt, I take two damage, I'm now dazed, therefore I can't be thrown. I'm incredibly confused what possible... 
Like this is like in like the weeds of weeds of weeds. Yeah, I know. Like, it's, it's, I'm you like, best come at me with a screenshot so, of the exact board <laughs> state where just, you think just, this matters. There's gonna be a, a whiteboard with just like these like yarn ties around the whole thing. So I mean, I'm, the only I reason understand. I'm Sorry, trying to find a reason why to take Bob. There are reasons to take Bob. We'll get to those in a little bit. Mm, okay. okay. But that well, is all the text. Bob doesn't die. So basically, no, so Bob, so Bob we'll basically shoots shoots this uh rocket launcher, throws himself back, and dazes himself. And uh, hopefully dazes or severely injures whoever he was shooting with a rocket launcher. I, I mean, would that's hope the goal. so with nine. That's with the nine dream, nine maybe. Uh, accuracy is key. All right. Bob has three superpowers on his healthy side. Hydra Tactics for two power. Bob can choose another allied character within range two of this character, Bob. Place this character, Bob, within range one of the chosen character. So he has himself a little teleport place effect. Mm -hmm. Nice. It's not bad. Uh, make it spicy, Bob. Cost eight power and an action to gain a loaded token. So, and then the final one, muy, muy caliente. This character gains one loaded token at the start of the game. So Bob is going to start every game with one shot in the chamber. And if he has eight power, which there's eight out of a maximum of ten, so an absurd amount of power, um, he could load a second token mm -hmm. and fire the rocket launcher again. So on okay. his injured side. Yeah, so before we go too much further, Bob's injured side is identical to his healthy side with one big exception. He has a new superpower called But How? If this character, Bob, does not have an activated token and would be KO'd by having damage tokens placed on it, it gains a dazed token instead. During the cleanup phase, when you would normally flip this character's card as a result of a dazed token, it remains on its injured side, and this character loses three power. Um... So Bob if at die. any time this is the only character you control, you lose the game. Bob doesn't die. So Bob absolutely dies. How does uh, Bob die? It, we so we may have talked about this in the ancient past in what we're going to henceforth call beer protocol deleted scenes. Uh, the the episode that we messed up. Okay, that first line is really important. If this character does not have an activated token, it would be KO'd. So mm -hmm. if Bob has been activated then but how will not apply and you can ao him like any other character and since he only has three health that's not hard yeah um so things like doctor strange um there's somebody and else now iron fist iron fist can both put an activated token on a character uh so bob is very vulnerable to them but he's also very vulnerable to everything yeah, um, so Bob is someone you activate at the end of the round if you can. Yep, yeah, absolute end of the round, and you make sure that you are going last in the round. Although, funny story, funny story. <laughs> if you wait till the end of the round to activate Bob, who, to be fair, does have a four dice attack. So if even if he's just standing there plinking with the Hydra pistol, four dice can spike and put people down. Like oh, yeah, Bob yeah. is absolutely not a non-thing. When he doesn't have a loaded token, he can still plink, build power, and contest objectives like anyone else. Um, but if you wait until the end of the round, every round to activate Bob, you always have the potential risk of your opponent being like, he has three max health and two defenses. Just anyone, casually, take away that activation. And then you just don't get to activate Bob. Yep. And it doesn't matter that you waited. So... But how is not a guarantee. It is not necessarily. It's a way to give him extra durability that his stat line otherwise lacks. Um, but I would not count on it the way you might be able to count on like Deadpool's "I'm always got it as healthy" kind yeah. of ability. Yeah. Um, okay, so that is pretty much the basics on Bob. So tactically and sort of um, y yes, you know, uh, question in the back. I, I I got a question. Yeah. So when you're playing a game normally, and let's say all your dudes get wiped out, but you have the most amount of points, do you still win? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So why the fuck would you bring Bob, where you could potentially have the most amount of points, and he's the only thing left on the board, and the card specifically says you lose? So, generally, now, the game doesn't end until one player has 16 points, or the end of round 6. 
So, okay. um, while you may have no characters left, <clears throat> that generally means if you have no more characters on the board, you can't score any points. And if your opponent has enough time, they're almost definitely going to score more points than you. Because so the end of round scoring will give them the rest of the points. Pretty much, they could try to claim all of the available points on the board. Yeah, if you lose, so like, generally, if you lose your entire team, you're, you're pretty much, you've lost. It basically has to be the end of round six, okay. and you have too large of a lead to be beaten. In which case, okay. you probably should have won already. Yeah. Okay. I just wanted to check because I saw that, and I wanted to. Yeah. If you if you that one. so that's... if you have no characters, you're not scoring any points. So Bob sticking around means you could potentially score an objective, yeah. uh, contest an objective, and you can still play the points game. Uh, yep. This is to prevent. <clears throat> I think the yeah. you lose if Bob's your only character is simply to prevent the game from going on longer than it needs to. Because mm -hmm. if Bob is your only character, your opponent does any attack and he's out. In which case, yeah. you're right back to, I can't do anything. So your opponent should just win anyway. Yeah. Oh, no, I, I get the point of it, but I was just wondering if it was an extra handicap by taking them. Not, not, I wouldn't not say really. so. I think it's... I think it's more just to prevent <clears throat> rules shenanigans. Okay. Someone doing a stupid thing in competition. I actually think okay. it's uh, it's a handicap taking Bob. Period. Well, in general, yes. But I was just saying, outside of the in general, yes. So the only places that I okay, so I like Bob as a fun character. I do not like Bob as a competitive character, and I'm going to give some caveats to that. Um, there are certain lists that Bob does very well in. And is a good place to put two points in it. But there are two of them. If you're playing Syndicate, don't take Bob. Bob is a horrible, horrible, horrible person to put in Syndicate. Why is that? Uh, because he's always on his day's side. Like 99.99% .99 of the time, he's going to be on his uh, wounded side. And he gets no benefits from uh, the Syndicate uh, uh, thing. You want healthy characters in the Syndicate. To get the I'm two people, um, and he's never going to hold an objective because he's immediately going to die. So no reason to have him. Um, the only two places I found even like a eh, it's okay place to put him is Cabal because they get the I wounded something I get a power so it makes his loaded uh, make a spicy Bob uh, a little more palatable. Um, because I mean, even if a hydro pistol, so say he, he gets a power, so he gets one power at the start of the turn, he shoots something and does one wound, he gets a, 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 a power from the, um, the attack, uh, because of a cabal. Then he shoots somebody, does a point of damage and gets another one. So he's at five for just doing one round of attacks. So yep. It puts him in a good position to get back loaded, especially now that he does three damage to himself and he gets three, three energy. Uh, um, he doesn't. Sorry, really. he doesn't get him himself. Sorry, if he just dies by attack, he gets three energy. Right, because what what I'll point out, remember, you only get power from taking damage from enemy effects. Correct. So Bob would not generate any power from taking the damage from the backlash from shooting the rocket launcher. So, I think he is okay in Cabal. I think he's a, I think he's a a contender for the two point slot position, especially if you're playing um, gamma shelters uh, or anything else that's going to require you to kind of be clumped up around objectives. Um, if you're playing against a syndicate player, Bob is probably a good thing to bring um, because they're going to want to put people on on the points. Uh, the only other one. I've kind of been like, he's kind of good in this, is Black Order, weirdly enough. Because um, Thanos just goes, hey, uh, get some extra damage, and drops Bob up to a 13, I believe. So, kind of? <laughs> kind of. So, th on, on Thanos' injured side, so you've already lost Thanos' healthy mm -hmm. side before this ability is even available... If Bob is injured, he, Thanos can give him four dice. However, I think that ability also damages the model. But he's already damaged, so it doesn't matter. No, 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 but it actually takes him out, because the damage is before the attack. 
So let me check Thanos. Ooh, if that's true, that sucks. Yeah, but it's throwing, almost like the game is balanced around not letting you do stupid dice things. Is actually still not bad for him to losing a two point uh, character. During the modified dice step, an allied character may suffer <laughs> up to three damage. Okay, that's his affiliation ability. Death's Decree is the one you were thinking of. Okay. So, yeah. I mean, he's kind of good in that, too. Now, true, but I don't I don't think the combination of Black Order makes a ton of sense, because Black Order is so point, is so threat-hungry as it is. I'd rather take a, uh, a, a gem than Bob. Yeah. Uh, and also, if you're going to use Death's Decree on Bob, it's only once per turn you can use Death's Decree. I think you would use Death's Decree on most of the other models in your list. I mean, it's kind of funny. It brings him up to 13 dice. Well, yeah. 12 dice because he can't kill himself doing it. Um, yeah, I guess. It's just, I don't know. I, I don't see the Black Order connection as much just because, and my biggest thing I don't see is just because they're so threat hungry, is they want all the threat they can use. Maybe uh, Avengers is, he's, I mean, okay, Avengers, he only gets like a point off. I'd so say Cabal's much better seven, off. But yeah, Cabal's way better off. I can't think, like, he's a horrible... Oh, I'm not going to take him. I'm not. So, basically, what would you take, Bob, when you're okay with spending two threat for a nine dice attack that you can use once, maybe twice in a game? Yep. You're buying an attack. The Infinity Gems let you spend one or two threat to buy an ability from one of your models. Whereas Bob has spent two threat to get a very, very good attack that you can do at any point in the game. Like, I'm, the attack I'm, itself is good. Um, the splash not, damage, the high not, base attack, but why not the range is good. But card that does almost the same thing? Because you still get a body. Is you still get a model for okay. tactical objective scoring. And it's still range four. That does kind of, like, make it a little bit happier. Um, having him run up basically within two, oh, uh, because it's no, it's your, it's away from, so it's your. I was gonna say, yeah. why are you still trying to make this throw do something for you? <laughs> I'm so confused I, by this. I like making throw. I like making every attack have a benefit or having a, uh, puts me in a situation where we have a general rule. Oh, the make your first opponents. Time of it. You, <laughs> Always drink beer. Um, so our general rule is always give your opponent bad choices. Okay? Like, if you're playing a game and you don't have anything good to do, do something that's going to put your opponent in a place that's going to give him bad decisions. Like, like a rocket launcher. The rocket launcher is good, but the problem is it's really you're only going to get one shot off, maybe two. There's no way you're going to get, like, you know, four, five, nine dice throws in a, in a game. No. So Then he would be three threat. I mean, gamma shelters, putting on the back point, and then waiting every until, like, your opponent runs everything up. Having him as a MODOK killer, like, okay, co kill MODOK guy, do it. Maybe, um, I don't know. I can see Toad. Uh, being a better two point model, I can see Shuri being a uh, not Shuri, uh, Akoye being a better two point model. Um, well, I that, can see. Oh, I guess I'm a little confused because you're you're right; they are better, well rounded two point models. But not every model has to be like a top contender for a competitive slot. So I guess I'm kind of confused at the hand whoa, rigging. It's whoa, like whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> if you want a nine dice attack, pay two threat, bring Bob. It's funny. I mean, yeah, and then he'll I, and, and then he'll plink people at range three and build up power to use his cool teleport to score a point your opponent didn't think about, or your your opponent missed, or he'll grab an objective and use his teleport, and now your opponent has to chase him. It's not hard to get him to drop it, but they still gotta chase him. Yeah, like I mean, but why wouldn't you use Toad then if you want the extra move and? Because Toad doesn't have a nine dice attack I can fire off for zero cost at any time I feel like. No, it. but he passes out freaking. <laughs> uh, he passes out uh, the burning thing. I can't remember the name of it right now. Or reason. I could just shoot someone with a nine dice attack. Or I, uh, it takes nine different attacks with uh, ign ignite on someone to add up to the potential value of one Bob. 
I mm-hmm. mean, I, I know I'll, that math is suspect. <laughs> I'll probably put Bob in the roster just to bring along if I know I'm going up against someone who's bringing the Hulks or mm-hmm. the Modoc or something high enough that, you know, I need that one shot. I just need three dice to hit. Yeah. You know, and play the odds in my favor. I mean, I would bring Bob to dunk on Red Skull. That's that. now that's not a bad idea. Is like you're running against Cabal, but then you're running, you're bringing something that's very specific to a specific list. You're bringing yeah, something with Red Skull different. and Red Skull or something yeah. saying, Hey, um, take the damage for me. Go ahead. Thanks. It's like, cool. Still take two damage because you're still within two. Um, that's kind of nice. <laughs> I, I would play it at least once to make Josh sad when I use the rocket launcher to take out um, Man with Hammer. Thor? Thor? Sorry, Man with Other Hammer. Guardian of the Galaxy <laughs> bad guy. <laughs> Ronan, Ronan, the accuser. Him, <laughs> this guy, with with the hammer. <laughs> uh, I would do it to make Josh sad when I shoot Ronan with a rocket launcher. Ronan's like, I will take vengeance and move and attack you. And Bob's like, Hey, I already knocked myself out. <laughs> <This> is... <laughs> okay. Just stand there looking dumb. I, I can see Bob being used against any of the characters that say, Oh, you hit me? Oh, I'm gonna screw I'm gonna screw up your world. I can see him being great for that. Like, uh let's see, Ronan, who's the uh who's the well, other one that gets to move in attack? Well, does it even matter if they if he moves out of range, he's gonna be fucking dazed anyway. What's the difference? And that's true. That's exactly it. Like, oh, <laughs> you're venom. thinking it too hard. Bob <laughs> shoots the launcher. Bob even if he didn't get thrown, he's dazed. You can't attack him. All right, What's all right, hold difference? on. Venom. Okay, I can see him being like, oh, we love saying venom all the time. He's so useful against venom because venom just he just goes, hey, I shoot venom. Here's nine dice. Cool. You you soaked him. I knock myself backwards, and uh, you have no target. Cool. You know what else is fun? The rocket launcher is range four, so Venom couldn't hit him with it anyway. Even then, though, if he's a closer, it's like Venom gets close to him. He's just like, here's a rocket launcher to the face. Oh, no, I'm dazed. <laughs> Venom is not afraid of the rocket launcher, because you, Venom has good physical defense. You can't snack. <laughs> Venom is afraid of the rocket launcher when Doctor Strange is around, making it an energy attack. Oh my god, just, that's brilliant. You just open up Jesus' world to Bob. Hold on, hold on. Nine dice of whatever element type you want. Nine dice? Someone's head. Nine dice psychic attack? Mm-hmm. Most things have a weak psychic... Oh my god. Want to hear some other dumb nonsense? Hey Jake, I think you <laughs> just made me like Bob. <laughs> some other dumb nonsense. You have people like Enchantress with only two defense and physical... But she has her ability saying she gets to use her five psychic defense unless you pay two. Bob doesn't have to spend uh, to any two. energy to throw nine dice at a chancellor's head. <laughs> Bob doesn't care. Bob is like, yeah, I generated that much just getting close to you. Here. Take that, Enchantress. I'll pay your two. Wow. He Okay. I, I'm now starting to like him a little bit better. He, like, if you consider mm, Bob to just be a nine dice attack for two threat on a yeah. stick that has legs and a pistol, I think you get a lot closer to where is Bob useful than trying to be like, how do I maximize all yeah. of Bob's abilities? You yeah, and any, any, strategy not take, to me. any strategy I've taken with Bob is I'm literally going to the Deadpool comics. How useful is Bob? He's not. He's only useful for one aspect, and his aspect is his fucking rocket launcher. That's it. He's two points of yep. a rocket launcher. Just bring him. Nothing He's else. an infinity gem. <laughs> He's an infinity gem with legs. <laughs> like, what does Black point. Widow do in a given fight? You Black know, Widow uses her long movement to grab something and then run away. I, I yeah. started this off by going, I can't find a place for Bob. I, I really just cannot think of a good place for him. Now looking at Defenders... And Doctor Strange. Bob's insane. Or, or put it this way. Bob does not need to spend energy to throw nine dice of damage at someone once. Bob yeah. might want energy to spend on reloading his rocket launcher. Do you know what else Bob could do? Just keep Play sh- tactics cards. Oh god, he can play tactics cards. He's got no use for that energy he's stockpiling with uh, yeah. his pistol. 
You know what Infinity, Infinity Gems can't Hold do? Hold on. Play tactics cards. Hold on. You know what Infinity Gems can't do? Contest a point. Med pack because he just got dazed. You can flip him back over to don't, his healthy don't. size, but that's uh... don't use that's med waste. pack. Don't use med that, pack on Bob. That, that is such a waste. I'm a noob, and I know that. <laughs> that's like using like a high tier healing potion in D and D on your like commoner level. who just walked up. Yeah, that's like burning a third level your wounds on you know a sheep herder. I'm hey, now trying to that, figure out how to get more. I'm trying to figure out. I'm now trying to figure out how to get more attacks on Bob. I'm thinking like tactic cards. That's just like, oh yeah, no, no, this is this is an extra attack you can get, like the friggin' uh, uh, the book. Uh, for that's not a tactic card; it's an objective. But there's a like a another attack you can get. I think it was from with uh, Iron Man. Well, Maybe. No one ever, so no one ever takes it because it's like it's a really expensive attack and why would I do this? But if you're using Bob as a stick, he can use well, that attack and then fire a missile launcher and just do devastating damage to everything. To be mm-hmm. fair, I think that card specifically says Iron Man and Cap can play. No, this. no, no. There's, it's, it's, there's another one that's because uh, no one ever takes it because like, it's like kind of worthless because it's the oh it was bob it's a match made in heaven it's exactly bob is good for the useless crap that's going to be <clears throat> gone in a round wow okay oh, I'm now start. that we've reopened your eyes on bob uh for your I... consideration viewers and players mm. uh honestly play a game or two with bob see if it's fun just announcing here comes the pain as you blow your once per game rocket launcher uh let us know if your dice rolls are kind to you and you actually kill something, or if you just tickle them a bit. God, that's gonna make make me so angry if I bring Bob in Cabal, and I'm just like, I'm gonna destroy that, and I roll, and it's like like nothing, like nine dice of skulls. <laughs> like, oh, I'll laugh my ass off. It'll be fantastic. I'll just It'll be living a Deadpool comic. It's Yahtzee, fine. and then sell all my stuff. <laughs> Yahtzee, and then I sell all my properties and I quit Monopoly. <laughs> oh my god. Well, uh, yeah, that's Bob. <laughs> well, does Bob have any tactics cards specific to him? No, not that we know of so far, uh, but no. Okay. There might be, now, he comes with Deadpool. There might be a card where it's like, if you have Deadpool and Bob. If um, I had to, excuse me, if I had to guess, I know Deadpool's pack comes with the Chimichanga. Well, that's one of, like, usually the two cards they include mm-hmm. with boxes. And I'd have to look up what the other uh, card is in Bob's release, but I just remember checking the database. I didn't see anything specific to Bob. Yeah. All right. Well, I think that's it. Like Bob's actually really simple. Um, mm-hmm. I started off not liking him. I now kind of want to try it. Actually, Bob sounds a lot more complicated than you give him credit for. Of all just the I... stupid things you can do. I'm not saying he's a complicated Model, I think we wrong, can but... turn it complicated if we try really thought about doing this. Um, I think that's why Bob has things on his card. Like Bob knocks himself out. If you only have Bob left, you lose the game. Like they're very much just like don't don't take this too far. Just yeah. have fun with this model. I'm Please sure don't try to find a way to break our game. Yeah, I'm sure somebody in playtesting this was just like, so wait, Bob just never dies. <laughs> okay, I win. <laughs> it's like, I'll just keep contesting this spot. Hmm. Yeah, yeah. You're gonna you're gonna go buy a Bob now, aren't you? I'm buying Deadpool because he's Deadpool. Um. So I'll Bob get was Bob. always gonna, just gonna come with. Okay. I also want the I also want the truck, the Chimichanga truck. All right, and on that note, uh, we look forward to seeing you guys soon. Uh, we're gonna talk some more about uh, new releases. We have all kinds of things we can talk about coming out of the sort of spring release schedule. We need to do a cabal list. We've been asked to do a cabal list. And there's okay. A, there's a lot of people in cabal, and now that we've got um, Venom... You want to hold and... off for a little bit until we get Spin released? So yeah. we have two leadership abilities to choose from? Yeah, I, I think we're going to hold off on, on that just a little bit. I do want to see what Sin does. I think I'll probably still... like Unless she's like amazing, I think still think I will probably go for Red Skull. Um... But we'll see. So well, we do know we what her there, leadership ability is. We do. Yes, it was it was spoiled briefly. Oh, I didn't. I didn't. I didn't see that. 
So we'll talk about that, and then we'll talk about Cabaldus. Talk to me behind the shack after <laughs> the recording. Yay, um, honor the bleachers. Game, game off? Bye. Game off. Bye.